welcome back again and yeah so today i wanted to show you my existentialist um or more like philosophy reading list that i finally updated this weekend um and basically we're gonna start with the books that i had already owned in my library was currently reading or had been reading for quite some time and then i'm gonna show you some of the new books that i finally uh, got to add to my library i became intrigued and interested in existentialist thought and philosophy after i first got this book um, at the Existentialist Cafe by Sarah Bakewell. This is basically an autobiography of uh, several philosophers who were really key in uh, the thoughts and ideas which uh, are now what we refer to as existentialist thought and um, basically this book goes over the lives and how the thoughts of these philosophers intersected with the historical times and it gives you an overview of so many philosophers and their writings and their thought processes in a very friendly way to anyone who has not taken a philosophy class or ha is a professional uh, philosopher. I mean, each of us, I think, is a philosopher, but in the sense that you're not going to university to study philosophy or um, write about philosophy. And I believe that this is the best introductory kind of text on philosophy in itself, but specifically existentialist thought. Um, in this book, you first meet Herzl, you meet Heidegger, you meet Sartre and Beauvoir, but I would say the majority of the book is mostly about Beauvoir and uh, Sartre. But it has a very good um, overview of all the other philosophers, Herzl, Heidegger, uh, Malou, uh, Monti, I think, and so many others, but it's the best. Um, Camus, uh, you know. And then now that I'm about to finish this book, I started reading this about a year ago. And um, because I started reading this book a year ago, what happened is that I started picking up some of the other books mentioned here or some of the major works by the authors in this book and started, you know, trying to read and um, get a gist of their thought or, you know, what the philosophy is about. And this really helps with um, reading books like this, autobiographical, uh, historical books about a thought. And that's, I think that's the right way of reading such a book. So take time with it, but also be open to opening up the other books mentioned or the other thoughts and trying to figure out if that's something that can work for you if you're really interested in the philosophy and the thought processes uh, for your own reading, of course. Um, and then, so now, the other day, well, not the other day, this, I have had this for quite a while now. I got this uh, about six months ago, I think. And I have been reading the second sex on and off. I just open a page that I like, you know, you go over that page, you can basically read this book chronologically, 
and you know think about what the book is talking about or you can open any place in this book and truly read uh what is more relevant to your book this this is more like uh like a, a dictionary for existentialist thought from one of the major authors who made it um uh, contributed a lot of their thoughts on what means to be an existentialist so this is simone de beauvoir's the second sex it's a very feminist text that explores the history of feminist thought um within the existentialist umbrella uh, as a and this is basically a book about the woman or what you would what she meant by when she said the woman the second sex um so yeah that's my old books and now i'm going to show you some of the books that i got from my bookstore tour so okay so i went to the strand and so basically it's a used bookstore um used books bookstore but they have a lot of um really pristine condition books and uh, my thought about going to use bookstores you have to spend hours and hours just trying to figure out what you're gonna get because most times they are not organized but if you're getting something like fiction especially they might be organized but you can actually miss if you were looking for specific books. So my first thought when I went there was that I was not going to find anything that I wanted to get. But because of the fact that I mentioned I'm about to finish this book and uh, the second sex has served me right. And, you know, when I want to, I open it and I read it and I think about what the book is talking about. I've always had um, any other existentialist uh, sort of, uh, you know, figures of the original thought on my list, and I have wanted to get books by them. Um, earlier on, I had gotten this book by Walter Kuchman, Existentialism from dostoevsky to satyr so it's also one of those overview of the works and how these um various um existentialist you know philosophers or philosophers in did contributed to what we know about existentialism which is for me very little so this is an overview of the works and how they present um, the thoughts that are associated with existentialism. And I am finding it quite, um, I think, challenging to start reading this book because I've started it several times, but I feel greatly that I need to be able to read some of the works mentioned here just because like notes from from underground to be able to put the text and the commentary that Hoofman gives into context. So for me, this book is just on hold until I can get my basics right. Um, so when I went to the bookstore, I got myself a few books and <laughs> the biggest book that I got really was being a nothingness by jean paul sartre and um i got this book because of course i have the second sex might as well get the um you know these books are like 
partners, I believe. I I don't know. I just think they are partners, but this is more of uh, the pod itself. Um, so I got this book, and I think this might take me about a year or two to finish. I don't think that's a bad thing. I actually think it's really good. This is one of those books that I will take the time to read and think about and probably produce work out of it, you know. I think, yes, I have no knowledge of anything concrete that I could talk about this book, but I do know that it's one of the main, um, like, really the one book that if you had to start understanding what existentialism is all about, the one book that you could read. And yeah, it's a foundational book basically. And then my second book, second book that I got is, I would say, The Will to Power by Frederick Nietzsche. And um, I got this book because of a recommendation by someone who was really better, um, seemed and sounded that they know their philosophy way, way better. When I was at the bookstore and I was, you know, holding like five different Nietzsche books, The Will to Power, Beyond Good and Evil, I don't know, uh, Das book, Zarat Huz, and I thought, you know, maybe I should start with the first books. I was just thinking that's how I should start it, but then literally I hadn't, um, probably thought that this would be the first book I would take. So someone recommended that um, I should start with this book because this book is the bread and the butter for all the other books, which I don't know. So I think we'll have to find out because these things take a lifetime to figure out what they actually were thinking about. This is one of those books that, you know, when you read these books, you think the authors really gave their whole lives for it. They poured themselves into the book. It's as if the soul left the man and literally inhabits these books. And um, I really hold um, well-written, well-thought-out, you know, books that try to explain the meaning of life very much. I give them a lot of respect. So I got the... Frederick Nietzsche's uh, The Will to Power. I, yeah, so we'll see. And then the other book I got, I got another Nietzsche book. It's Beyond Good and Evil. Um, I will see. I don't know. It's apparently um, a book that rejects uh, Western thought with its notions of truth and God, good and evil, and he sought to demonstrate that the Christian world is steeped in a false piety and infected with a slave morality. So I'm very curious about this book. I want to read it immediately. I don't know if I should read it immediately because I don't know the order, but I, I believe I could start reading this one uh, quite immediately because the chapters seem a little bit like treatises and uh, a short, um, short thoughts. But of course, it will take a lot of time to truly understand what the book is about. Finally, Camus had to bring in Camus if I'm gonna read Sartre, might as well uh, read Camus and understand why exactly these two great men fell out. Of course, this is not the book for that, um, but I have always wanted to read The Myth of Sisyphus. I've tried to read it in PDF form, but I think and I feel strongly that such a book deserves to be read in its physical form, just because it's such a marvelous work of philosophical thought and um, existentialist, uh, I don't know, you know, 
this type of trying to understand uh, the well it's not about patterns i really truly don't know what this book is about i have thought i know sometimes but i think it's a book that deserves to be contemplated upon so it's a book that you probably need to have a physical copy that you open and you're like what exactly was this rolling stone down here it's a lot about suicide and um it's a book that tries to explain that you know how to get out of despair and um this feeling of existentialist doom and um i don't know i really have no idea but if you have any other basic ideas about how i should think about this book then yeah feel free to comment on any of these books please and any advice that you might have on this great books but that is basically my library now i have enough books to chew for a couple of years now i think each of these books might even take me a year at least if this book took me a year just because i had to pick this book up and then pick this one i got this as a present but haven't really read it because I, i've always felt that each time i'm starting one of the paragraphs or chapters it's mentioning one of the books from the other philosophers who Kaufman tries to give a whole um, perspective on. It's not the same as Sarah Bakewell's writing. Sarah Bakewell's writing is more biograph autobiographical and very, um, very, very friendly because it's it's almost like a conversation of their thoughts and all the ideas. This is more like, oh, you probably should know what you're reading about. Um, so I'm excited and intimidated, but I think these are the right books. I've always thought that if I end up reading maybe 10 books in my life, I really wish that I find the five important books that I must read to like the books that will change my life for sure um i should read them at least in the before you know at least before i'm 50 you know because i don't know it's so, so difficult nowadays to find the really good books and um there's so many books you just can't read all of them you you've got to be selective and find the right books for you but if they just happen to be that my my personality draws me to difficult books, I believe that I should feed it. The soul knows what it wants. And for me, I believe it's Nietzsche, Sartre, Beauvoir, you know, Sarah Bakewell. I really love Sarah Bakewell's way of writing. And um, Camus, I haven't read any of Camus, but... You know, if a book won a Nobel Prize in literature, yeah, you will read the book. This book was also supposed to win it, but I think Sata refused it. Um, this at the existentialist cafe really tells that story in a very spectacular way. Uh, I'm actually quite sad that now I'm almost done with this book, and it's at the end, and the end is always a very, you know wow i just saw all these people and now they're gone now i have to start seeing them again through their words so i have to read their books but the end of their lives was very it was very bad i i i think the writing is amazing excellent but for them the way i see them how their lives ended it's just there's nothing more after that. You just just die. Oh, okay. And the times that they lived in were very difficult. So, thank you for watching this. If you watched all the way to the end, this is 
just a chill video where I show you all the books that I got and why I got them and tell me in the comments if you have any of these books, if any of these books is something that you've read, if you have any tips on how to go about them. For me, I'm going, I think I will be reading this book several times throughout my life. I will reread them over the years um, to truly understand them. Um, and yes, thank you for watching all this way. Um, have a wonderful day, week, and yeah, see you on the next one. I'll find something cool to show you again. Bye-bye.